Empire 30 investigations under our belt. Uh, we've got one full figure apparition. Oh, you recorded it? Yeah, it's on, it's on our website. It's on our uh, Facebook page. And that's on my card, how to get to all that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. History, histories and haunts. You Facebook page. There are ghost stories. You guys have some good ghost stories to share? <laughs> Researching volume two. Freeman. Freeman, can I get the. Oh, sure. Sit down and hang out with them. <laughs> so we're hanging out with Al and uh, Mike. Mike. Al and Mike. they are ghost hunters for Virginia. Okay. And it's probably all around America, right? Well, no, we just do just Gen do. general just local. Each other. There's enough ghosts around here. Oh, oh funny. you better believe it. <laughs> Al, book. picture on the back, which looks really, really neat, um, is actually a staged picture. It was the lighthouse keeper at the old lighthouse back at the turn of the century. And they were just they were just doing a series of photographs. You know, so that's his wife he's carrying his arms and his three daughters standing around him, but he's pretending to be dragging her out of the surf. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, strangely enough, at the condo we were just at, we just had a ghost experience with one of the ladies that was there. And, you know, she's not lying. Two of the ladies. Two of the ladies, that's right. And the ghost was this friendly ghost, I guess, and he came up and pulled the sheets up over her head and then said, pardon. Oh my goodness. And it scared the living daylights out of her. <laughs> I guess. And she's never believed him. You know, she's never thought about him to believe or deny it, but that was her well, first experience. They're in a haunted restaurant. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What's it, who's the haunted about? Who's it? Mr. E, the owner of the former restaurant. Mm-hmm. Haunts these haunts. He's done such things as uh, rattle the pots and pans in the back. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool to see. <laughs> Punch the doors open uh, right here. Uh, before they would place this TV, they would turn it off at night, and as they went down the line, it would keep coming back on. Oh, that's Which could be electrical. Doubtful. Space Doubtful. Yeah. That's the scariest moment. The assistant manager that was here earlier was telling us just within the last two weeks, a lady came in here and came out of the bathroom saying, I just saw some Oriental man in the bathroom. The office that yeah, and she knew nothing about the. Yeah, the, the main office is directly behind that bathroom. Back there. That's where you would have come out. And, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, after he passed, at some point came in here and queried the ownership as to, have you seen my husband? At that point, it was no. So then you must be a very good man, or he would be here to. Put you in your place. Yeah. Wow. This was. Between the time it was the Golden Dragon restaurant, which goes back to the 50s, and, the Mur and Murphy's, um, it was an Italian place called Reginello's. That's correct. Isn't it? Yes. And uh, the owner of that restaurant was going through a divorce. And whenever his wife would show up, they'd get into an argument. There'd be all kinds of activity here because Mr. Lee was upset. That's when the pots and pans in the kitchen would rattle and all that kind of thing. So uh, the Murphy staff moved in, everything was quite peaceful. And, and Mrs. Yee came in and she said, Oh, he must like you then because, you know, he, he would cause trouble. Otherwise. Now, here's the greatest story about this joint. Right? 1955, 56, it was built as a Chinese restaurant. It existed as a Chinese restaurant until about the early 80s. So it's a long period of time. For a couple of years, it was Reginello's. Okay? And then it closed. And then the Murphy's crowd moved in, turning it into a Irish-American restaurant. Used to be a drop ceiling in here. If you look, you can see where the ceiling used to be dropped. Well, they dropped the drop ceiling down to give it this archaic look. And up in that upper corner, where, where the wall comes together, nailed to the ceiling, was a Celtic cross. Thanks for everything. Wow. The very beginning. Yeah. The very beginning, hanging from that metal up there, was a Celtic cross. It was already there. It was there. Even though it's a Chinese. That's person. why they have it. Right. Right there. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's a yeah. Right. And so now, Mr. Uh, Kim, he, he yeah. is happy. That's the only copy I have with him, but yes. <laughs>